Vaccine have saved a lot of life in, in this world, from chickenpox, you know, polio, you name it. Vaccines are life savers. I'm in the field. I'm at the bedside. I'm surrounded by my family. I'm surrounded by my co-workers. I'm surrounded by my patient as well. If I don't take this vaccine, a patient can come to me who is very clean, absolutely healthy. I may be the carrier giving it to my patient who has no, no symptom, no nothing, but coming to me, me taking care of them, can transmit this disease to them because it is known to be, be, you known to be a carrier without absolutely exhibiting any symptoms, but you can give it to somebody, it might kill. We, we just, we're just exhausted. People are even called, so that's why I'm appealing to people of color like me to not decline because there's a misconception there all the time when it comes to you know immunization when it comes to um, healthcare our my community my black folks my black fellows they tend to absolutely be declining it they tend to be non-compliance so that's why my appeal to them and even my friends i call them take it take the vaccine it's available to you if you are in the third world countries, who knows when this vaccine will be available to the third world country. You are in the perfect situation, you are in the perfect, you have a perfect opportunity to take advantage of this vaccine when it becomes available to you. Please do not decline it. Yeah. In the world, we're gonna, be, <laughs> we're gonna be the history maker here. Yeah. <laughs> huh? This one? Okay, I'm gonna touch your arm. Lift it up for me just a little bit. There we go. And you can relax. Perfect. Okay. So we got three nodes. And you can turn your head if you want. A little bit of pressure, okay? That's good. There we go. All done. Until the vaccine has reached the entire Oregonian, we just have to stay vigilant and do what we do best, you know, masking, social distancing, and obviously stay home as much as you can. If you don't need to go out, wander around, stay home. That's the key. We continue to do that until everybody is vaccinated. Very excited to, that today has finally arrived. It's been a, a long, long year, as we all know, as we've heard from many. You know, the, the effort that our team on the front lines has given to um, take care of not only the COVID positive patients, but all of the other critically ill patients that we see here at OHSU, they've, uh, they've done a fantastic job. You know, we've got our first 975 Pfizer doses here on site. and at about a pace of 100 doses per hour, our occupational health team has been able to create those time slots and found the you know, vaccinator volunteers from our student ranks, fortunately, um, to be able to uh, run through that. So we, we do expect that we'll be able to get all 975 doses delivered to staff this week. Through that, you'll help to prioritize those units really that we know for a fact have and care for COVID positive patients. So. 
the intent was, and that's you know, and that's uh, it's all all the staff that interface in those units. So it tallies up to this first wave is about 1,900 employees. Good evening. No one is wearing a cloth mask. We are in a global pandemic, a global crisis that, as Ansu mentioned, does not discriminate against anyone. Um, I'm comfortable with it. I'm comfortable telling my family to take it. I think that it is one small step to not only protect, like as I mentioned, ourselves, but the people that you care about the most.